Pisces, welcome to your new moon in Cancer reading. I hope this finds you well. This new moon is hitting your fifth house. So hopefully you got a brand new beginning with, you know, nurturing some fun in your life. Maybe fun dating romance. Oh yeah, maybe you can get some new love or renewal of love in your life. That would be lovely, right? For some of you, this might have to do with your kids or creative projects. It's going to be different for different people, but um, I do want to say that before we get started, <laughs> what's even bigger than this lunar energy is the fact that around this time, we have the nodes shifting out of Taurus and Scorpio, which we've been dealing with for like a year and a half now. So it's going into Aries and Libra. And for you, this means that you're going to have a lot more of a self directed focus on personal income, personal values, possessions, and maybe putting those shared resources with others on the back burner, okay? Uh, maybe releasing some relationships with, I don't know, it could be extended family, who knows, maybe the government, we're talking eighth house, you know, fire the government. <laughs> yeah, I went there and just said that. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll see. We'll see what the cards have to say about, you know, the next year and a half for you and what direction you need to be off on. I'm feeling this. Happy, happy. Oh, my gosh. I am so loving it. Look at that. Well, I mean, that is so fifth house. So, hey, you need to go have some fun. That's an order. Go out there and have some damn fun. And you know what? I am claiming that with my Pisces stellium. Heck yeah, I'm gonna keep going out. I've been going out to parks and I took myself out to have a glass of wine the other night while I watched the sun go down. Did y'all see that? I put that out, I put that video out. And, you know, take a nice drive or have a little picnic at a scenic outlook. Oh my gosh, just do it. Do something, okay? It doesn't really have to cost any money. Just go do something. Have fun is really the vibe I'm getting off of this hitting your fifth house. More than anything. You want to have it with your kids. You want to have it out on a date. That's up to you. You want to have fun doing some creative project. You do you. Whatever floats your boat, Pisces, is what I'm hearing. Whatever floats your boat. But look at that. Looks like you got a second chance there with the judgment card. And that's lovely. For anybody who's wanting a second chance. Some of you, you know, we're going to see where this goes. Some of you may just be reassessing something, Okay. Maybe reevaluating if you want to begin again and do something again. Some of you are really looking over your life right now with this energy or figuring out um, that you got to let go of something. All right, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, maybe let go and let God. And, you know, I've been feeling honestly more of that within myself, like, oh, to hell with it. You know, stop being so serious about every little, right? Stop being so hypercritical about every little. Just enjoy your life. Absolutely. Um but some of you also on, on the more serious sober side might be having a wake up call to see if it goes in that direction. I do see you manifesting and, and why not? You're Pisces, you are the manifester. I see you being really resourceful here, maybe talking to some people, getting on the same page with some people. Um, in the past, it looks like you were a bit reclusive there, I ain't gonna lie. Some of you may be single or feeling alone. Um, there might've been some ghosting going on um, because you know, you might have needed, you know, for a time to do a bit of soul searching. It happens to all of us. You know, I'm an Aquarian. I know all about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe a Virgo is relevant here. Um, somebody might have been getting the silent treatment. Got to say that. In the future, I do see with the Queen of Cups. Lovely energy. Um, probably your energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, very healing. Very empathic energy. And... Holding this together, wow, Capricorn got that in the same position, Seven of Wands. There's maybe some kind of resistance to something. I'm going to find out what. Some kind of pushback, and then the outcome looks like you are working your tail off. Okay, on what? I don't know. We'll find out. But let's see what you are manifesting right now. Some of you are really creating. I'm getting a creative, creative vibe off of this um, with the Magician. Um it might have to do with your skills, okay? Um, but I really see you putting putting some creative energy efforts out there um, to a broad audience, okay? Some of you trying to man manifest a trip or travel, a long-distance trip or travel. 
some of you trying to get some kind of understanding about higher beliefs and knowledge, okay, um, between you and other people, like trying to bridge a gap between beliefs, maybe having to do with a feminine energy, um, maybe feeling, I'm getting something about feeling distant for a very long time involving a feminine energy and trying to manifest some kind of understanding, all right? In the past, I see that you were maybe pulling back because very, oh, wow, that's wild. Aquarius got that. They were kind of uh, more in the high priestess. It's a similar energy, high priestess energy, where they're, they were being kind of maybe secretive and holding back information. This is more of a soul searching for you. Um, but again, these, these cards here they had where it's like, why are you doing this? Because... There's something from the past that you're still not clear on, maybe an emotional attachment, and you're having to focus on right now, like, I've got to figure this out. I got to take a time out. I got to figure this out. Um, because you were not clear. Something was very clouded um, with that 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 energy, okay? It, it, it might have been an attachment. It might have had to do with loyalty issues. And somebody felt really called to withdraw. Very, it was some kind of wake up call. Sweet Jesus, look at this huh. fallout involving maybe a Capricorn. I, I, I could go on and on and on. Somebody's got some regrets about it, and they, they're like, okay, okay, I, I got to do some soul searching here because things are not clear, and I'm, I'm having to de detach. All right, but on the outcome, I see um, this is super good. Okay, especially if you are a creative, okay, like an artist or a healing, a healing arts. Um, well, I don't know, that came in the group. Okay. So there might be some hidden commitments here. And there's something going on with the cash flow. Like I see that there's cash flow here. Um, but I'm getting something about hidden cash flow and contracts. Something on the books, cooked the books. I don't know what that is about. That's a much longer reading, and in TikTok land, I've only got 10 minutes or less. Home of the short attention spans. You want longer, you got to come over to YouTube or get a private reading. All right, the pushback is maybe on your career for some of you, um, or people, people are seeing you as resisting something or being defensive or not opening up, okay? Um, they might also see you as that you're pushing back on some challenges that you're going through, Maybe um, you're not opening up about something, okay? That's the way that you are being perceived and it might have to do with your career, your public reputation. But I do see in the outcome, you're going to be working hard on something, refining your skills, refining your craft. I just don't see things happening super quick. There is maybe a reassessment about what risks, I, you know, like reassessing what you're willing to take a risk on and it might be based on something that, you're having, to, you're getting a wake up call and realizing that this is not on a solid foundation. This is not sustainable. I, this cannot endure. It might have to do with Saturn and Pisces right now is really doing a lot of quality assurance testing on your, you got to look at where Saturn is in your natal chart. Again, we're talking about a private reading for some of you. Let's look at what the intimacy issues are here that you, oh, sweet Jesus, are you kidding me? Did you see? <laughs> okay, let's put that back and let's start all over again. Someone needs a private reading. Okay. All right. That was a lot. That was a lot of intimacy issues. It's either you or you're around a lot of people with intimacy issues or it's all of y'all. My God. Well, I guess we all do have them more or less, but damn, that was a lot. <laughs> If they show me what does Pisces need to focus on, I did not want to go down differences. Maybe we're just too different to make this work. Insecure, you can't give what you don't have. So somebody doesn't have security, and for that reason, they cannot give security, okay? Hang-ups, let yourself be fully seen, felt, heard by them until it becomes comfortable. And spiraling. I don't know how to self-soothe when I have unmet needs. Mm. Alpha energy has calm, stable energy, demonstrates emotional mastery, handles his power with maturity. So mm. take it how it applies. I am out of time. And until next time, please know I'm wishing you all the best. Be blessed.